Hello and welcome everyone to yet another Defrag demo review. My name is Crazy Al and I'm joined by the one, the one and only Chris Steele. Hello, hello. How's it going everybody? War Cup 461. Is it 461 already? It's 461 it's already, mate. Flown by. Yeah, Absolutely we skipped like by. 100 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. the map is KRNK base, crunk base maybe. Um, we've got 15 demos, 15 whole demos to look at. I think it's yeah. actually going down since we started streaming. These it is since we started again. streaming. We've had a negative <laughs> impact on the on the whole, on the community as a whole. Fantastic! Yeah. You love to see it. Um, but let's not waste anyone's time. Let's get straight into these demos. Starting off with the VQ3, as you do. It's Schket with a forty point zero. Oh no! 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 We've got tech issues again. That's outrageous. Where is the game oh, capture? I can't believe we've been done by the game capture again. Right, we're going. I, I can't see it. It looks fine for me. <laughs> oh, you, you can see it. You can't see it? I can see it, yeah. Right, cool. Right, I'm we're going. Skip. 40 seconds. So we got a little strafe section on the map. A wee bit of plasma, as you do. Some more strafe. Kind of dark map, hope you can see it on the stream, okay? Rockets as well, because you can't have a combo map without rockets. I didn't check, but this feels like a very old map. It does feel like an old map. Nice drop down there. Yeah. Uh, opting to take the optional grenades, which I think might be quite a common choice in VQ3. In VQ3 at least, yeah. So got a little bit more strafe. You've still got one extra rocket, going to use it here. Quite a nice, quite a nice rocket there. And there you go, that's it. Fairly simple map, straightforward. Let's see it how took me a while to figure it out, to be fair, because the yeah, end same. point is halfway through, so, yeah. Yeah, like, I got looped around, and I was like, where, where am I going? I thought it was one of those maps where you, like, actually go back to the start or something. Kind of was. Kind of was, yeah. But next up, Undead Sniper 35.5. <laughs> Oh, there's a frag on this map as well. That's how you uh, sort of stop people from cheesing it, as you, yeah, exactly. as you can do. Yeah, you've got to pick it up right at the end. Nice rock oh, off oh. that pillar. Yeah, yeah I think we're going to see some variation here in this, uh, in this map. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, we've already seen a bit of variation. Well, you must pick up the frag from the bottom level. I didn't. I didn't really pay much attention, even in, in my run. <laughs> I submit it to be fair. <laughs> no, I think I'm, we're going to watch this one again because I didn't realize that you took a, a completely different route there. Again, it wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so we'll see what he does differently. Did you play the map this week? You did a bit. No, I play, I've done a couple runs on it. Yeah. I just found some of the spacing a bit awkward. But... Yeah, so right here jumps up to the top level. Yeah. And then drops back down to pick up the frag. I mean, I so like it's... that. It's clearly quicker to to do that than uh, go through all the rigmarole of grenade jumps and whatnot. Yeah, that's the section he skipped, is the, is the picking up the grenades. So I guess it won't be that common in VQ3 then, maybe. But yeah, well played. Next up, we got T.S. Eliot. We're already in the top three. We're like a minute <laughs> in, and we're already top Before... three. <laughs> yeah, blink and you'll miss it. For real. 31.0 for T.S. Eliot. <laughs> Put a lot of effort into that quickly jump right there. Yeah, it's just to get the space and to get that double jump there. Nice, using the plasma after the uh, jump pads. We got nice. the same, same route here. Skipping... Exactly, same route, but much better execution. Having to slow down a bit just to make that spacing work. Nice little bit of half beat, you love to see it. Yeah. And there you have it. That was a different route again at the top, went oh, to the left side. Did he, yeah, he didn't so this... actually need to drop down to finish the map. I didn't realise that. Yeah, nice run. So next up, 30.9 from Nathan, or Nathan, or however you say it. Yeah, I saw him on, um, on Defrag Live uh, playing in this one, so I think we'll see something nice from him. Really nice use of that plasma. Interesting as well to see him play VQ3, because uh, Nathan comes from Momentum Mod, which currently only 
It does have VQ3, but in terms of leaderboards, it only supports um, CPM at the moment. So I don't know how much VQ3 Nick has actually played. Well, uh, I think we established last week that he is uh, physics agnostic, isn't he? Yeah, he absolutely is, and it uh, takes that right route at the at the start at the end rather. All right, so moving on up, it's Ket, as we uh, we all love and know, know and love. Uh, coming in with the sub thirty, twenty nine point seven. Let's see how he goes. Not taking as much of that plasma. Interesting. Didn't use any plasma on the way up either. Completely different route. Oh. Nice. That was really um, streamlined. Yeah, very uh, straight lined it all the way. <laughs> yeah, for real. Really quick onto that jump pad as well. Takes the right side here at the top. Interesting, used the rocket quite a bit later. Yeah, that was a really, um, really smooth run. Like say, streamlined, straight lined it. Big time. Little plasma hop. Yeah, really smooth from Ken. Hmm. I like that. I have to say, I had fun grinding it, but the, while I was grounding, grind, grounding it, while I was grinding it, I was saying to myself, "This, this is not a great map." Not really. <laughs> I think it's yeah, I, well, go on. I, well, I, I mean, we're looking at the top VQ three, and like, it's a good run, but it just feels like the map is constraining the ability of the player in some way. Do you know what I mean? What with the frag, the required frag. It feels like it's getting in the way. Like the 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 lines are not optimized. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I could be chatting shit. Not a good review. Uh, from Chris Not a good Stewart. review. Yeah, it hasn't passed. Well, I, I, yeah, I still play the shit out of it, so I've got no, I've got no. Uh, right. So it's not only say. the War Cup three sixty one or whatever this week. It is also War Cup Extra. So we have two quite long demos to look at here from Halvor's uh, combo challenge map, which, if you remember from last week, where we showed it off, it's basically. Well, I mean, I'll just show you and describe as we watch because it is quite a long map. So you start off in this hub, there's a whole bunch of rooms that represent different players and their playstyles. And there's a lot going on in this map, I'll try my best to sort of describe it. We'll take a look first and then we'll go through again and see what's actually going on. So this is, I think, Tarzan's room. And now we're heading over to Phoenix, where we'll see this crazy jump that you, I know you were trying. I managed this one at the end. I managed about three or four of the rooms. Like the triple quad rocket. And then into Woody's room. For a big OB, two big pre fires as well. This was a fun room, actually. Yeah. Yep. Similar thing again, we drop down with quads, triple quads. And uh, only the orange surfaces here can actually be shot. The grey surfaces are kind of. Like no collision for weapons. Next up was Frog's room, I think. Was this Frog? Was, no, I think it was someone else. I forget. I remember. Big plasma climb. Yeah. Love these stairs, by the way. Shoot the grenade oh, up. Oh, very nice. And then there's a rebounce. I like that. I like how he shot the grenade before going up the stairs. That was tasty. Yeah. Now into Keo's room, or Frosty rather, or was it? I don't know. I should have memorized these really. This is a nice one. Well. So we'll be onto the slick, and then the quad rocket. Not a quad rocket, but four rockets. <laughs> well, he's first timed each of these so far. Yeah, I, I expect they will. I mean, this is King Delta we're talking about. So another grenade pre-fire into plasma, perfectly timed. Double grenade bounce. Slide down the ramp, leave out more plasma, and there you have it. That was Ash, Australian defragger. Um, no idea who's... Oh, this is Goblin's room. So drop down here, shoot to get an uh, upwards impulse, carry you across. Some serious plasma 
uh, angles here. Nice. And next up we have Lith. Um, British Thief Fighter. This was a fun room as well. I this yeah, this is one I could actually complete. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not as well as that. No, not in one <laughs> fell sweep at all. Next up, we have yours truly. Yeah, your one's hard, mate. It is hard. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I couldn't get under the thing at the end. Oh, that's a big pre-fire. Look at that halfway up the ramp. That is high. Yeah. I couldn't do this bit. This is the bit I couldn't do. Yeah, you have to like do a little ground boost. Oh, yeah, you have to do that. something. Yeah. So this is uh, Snow's room. Oh, Brandon. Not that Brandon. The other Brandon. Drops down here onto a big uh, horizontal wall. Oh, actually skips the... Yeah, he's yeah. mad. Look, he's angry. Oh, no. He missed the, the water will be. Finally, is this finally? Yeah, so finally you get teleported yeah. into the last room. This is Zass's room. Once you have your ten, ten frags. This oh, is, and was... this is quite a long one, actually, if I remember correctly. Yeah, these are. This is probably the, naturally the most difficult room. But Delta making it look so easy. Oh, I missed the rocket there. But is oh, oh no, no, he's raging. Yeah, fuming. The only mistake so far. Yep, yeah, oh, I love that oh, reaction. He realizes he's not in the position to, to yeah, get that yeah. rocket, so it doesn't fire. It's good awareness. Yeah, just when you thought it was over, there's an extra part of the map as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the true final room. It's not Zass, it's Compolinus. Compolinus is the bear on the walls. Oh, nice. There you have it. Amazing. It is. That's just, it's just absolutely unbelievable, to be fair. Like, when you... Yeah. It it, to the uninitiated, it doesn't... I mean, it still looks impressive, but just being able to do so much of that without a mistake is is insane. Yeah, truly. And then we're going to see it a couple of seconds faster by Icarus and CPM. Oh, wait, we're not supposed to show this here yet. Sorry, my yeah, mistake. Let's do, we're in let's the VQ3 to... portion. Yeah. So we'll see this run from Zass. Um, VQ3 run. It was a previous War Cup, like a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if this actually got submitted because Zass sometimes doesn't submit and then uploads a demo uh, afterwards. That does sometimes happen. So we've got a wee bit of strafe. Yeah, wee bit of strafe, wee bit of slick. And then rockets to finish. It was a tricky map, I, I think. You really have to be on point with your positioning for each of these rockets, even like more so of, in VQ3. It's like a lot of steps to kind of impede your progress. Oh yeah, for real. You can get screwed over by the walls, the steps, everything. But there is a cool little thing in this map, that, in this run rather, that I want to show off, that you don't see very often, and you probably missed it if you weren't watching extremely closely. So I think it's on like the 6th or 7th rocket he fires here. So that's number 6 and then round this corner and you'll notice actually does a wee ground boost in VQ3. I didn't even know that was really possible. It, it, it is possible. We, I don't know when it was sort of discovered or whatever. Like people have probably... Zass has probably known for a while. I'll show it off with the timer on so you can actually see exactly what happens. It doesn't get much of an actual speed boost out of it, but it is more about spacing and positioning. Mm. Um, but we did see it in one of the FPS cup rounds, whereas us did get a proper ground boost and still got speed out of it in DP3, and that's when it was sort of made clear to me. So you can see on the timer there, it actually does slide across the ground as if it's slick. Mm. So yeah, it's something you don't see very often, and it's always a pleasure. Well, there's not much of a speed boost really out of it, is it? Because, I mean, essentially Slick doesn't work the same way in VQ3 as it does in CPM. No, so Slick, the speed gain you get from Slick is the same as it is in the air when you're strafe jumping in VQ3. It's just without right. the jumping, that's all. So, yeah, you're not going to get much, if any, speed from that kind of ground boost in VQ3. 
Um, but the benefit is positioning, being exactly. on the floor from where you want your next jump to land you, etc. Precisely. Um, so Master Shadows does that, so that's a nice wee trick. And we'll take a look at these other demos in a moment once we get through these Crunk. demos here. I didn't know you could have colors in the demo menu. I've never seen people that before. Are, people are pushing the limits of the engine, mate, <laughs> even yeah, after the 20 real. years. Oh, that's mad. All don't right, don't let up. on. We'll be it'll be pride flags next. I know. Don't say that. <laughs> Make it sound like a bad thing. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that the the leaderboards will look like a pride flag soon enough. <laughs> you can get us in trouble. Nah, it's no TOS uh, on on funny. <laughs> you'd be surprised. <laughs> oh, actually, right. yeah, you're right. First up, we got Planet Terror, thirty six point eight. We love, we love everyone here on the Timcon stream. By the way, we love everyone. One frag left. So let's go CPM on this map. We're starting early with the plasma fights here. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> nice save, Al. <laughs> <laughs> so you got this ramp that you can use and. CPM, so you don't really have to mess around with any grenades or anything like that. But we already seen that you don't have to mess about with grenades anyway. Nice uses that ramp on the side to get just a little bit extra speed. Oh, he's gone. He's gone the other way. Oh yeah, you got to go this way, obviously. Uh, you can go. There's two two ropes. Actually, at the top. yeah, he did go the other way actually on VK3 uh, mm -hmm. top time. Uh, next up, we got Shket once again. Shoutouts for submitting in both physics. 36.7. A hair, master. Left. A ball hair, even. <laughs> That's even smaller. <laughs> Avoids the ramp, goes straight for the grenades. Nice. Interesting being just a bit faster with all this time wasted. Waiting for that grenades. I found that drop just really awkward in CPM. I don't know if it's uh, with me or there. I'm sure we'll see it executed way better. So there you can see the time save there. It doesn't take the jump pad. It goes straight for the double jump on the ramp with the rockets. Nice. Well played. Next up, we got necro ne Necropsy. There you go. <laughs> it's Chris Theo himself. 31. You can say it however you want, mate. You can say it however you want. <laughs> Oh, the ground boost. Let's go. Nice plasma. Good speed after as well. Second ground boost. Nah. nah not that daring. Didn't have, didn't have the balls. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean having to slow down a bit for that drop. Yeah. Not that that speed matters at that point. Like, slowing down doesn't slow you down because you're trying to drop. So your horizontal speed does not matter. Straight into the end. Well played. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. There was another route that I really wanted to achieve. I'm sure we'll see it, but I mm -hmm. couldn't, couldn't manage it. Well, let us know if you. If I you will see. It. Oh yeah. So thirty point oh, five. The... Yeah. Sorry, go on. Yeah, it's the ro it's the first rocket you do. Uh, you, you'll see it. It'll be hopefully like a rocket into a plasma jump. So I'm oh, sure yeah. we'll see it. Uh yeah, so thirty eight point five from Winder. Fake Hades. Oh, oh that's a lovely uh, plasma ground boost there. Yeah, good start. And another one. And another one. Oh! Let's go. It put me to shame. Not sure if he wants plasma or rocket there. Well, that will turn around to get just a wee bit extra speed off that ramp. More plasma. Oh, nice. Nice use of the plasma there. Huge jump. Mm, could have done better with the, with the jump there, I think. Yeah, it goes for the side ramp as well. For having such a... Like, getting so much height, you're going to get a lot more... A lot more speed out of that, uh, speed boost out of that map mm. at the bottom. Does take an extra jump at the end, which I don't think he really needed to, which is unfortunate. That'll cost him a wee bit of time, but not too much. Next up, 28.1 from Cobra. One frag left. Edging. Well, I think oh. we're going to see a different route this time. Two second saves, got to be a different route. Right, this, this is one more plasma ground boost than the last one, so it's automatically better. Mm -hmm. Same route. Plasma on the side again. This is where we're going to see an improvement. Yeah, much better executed mm -hmm. there. Didn't waste any time in the air. Really flat mm. jump and skips that extra jump that Wonder took at the end as well. 
Lovely. Well played. Seeing that, I don't know if that last jump really matters all that much. Uh, next up, 27.5 from Undead Sniper. One frag left. Also, shout outs for submitting in both physics. No, no PGBs at the start. No PGBs here. This is surely. Maybe, maybe I'm making shit up. Maybe this, this route I've imagined is. Imagine oh, it. wow. Good speed. Yeah, really good speed here. Staying super flat, going the left side. Who needs PGBs when you got when you got speed like this? Yeah, really smooth into the into the final trigger as well. I think that left side is going to be the preferred and CPM going forward. Uh, so next up, we got our someone submitting for the first time and uh, and work up. Uh, uh, they are a momentum mod player again. It's uh, as we think, uh, as we think we is. 27 flat. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah, that's probably right. I did ask him yeah. <laughs> uh, midweek because we were talking. Nice little plasma jump. Another plasma jump. Not quite getting the plasma ground boosts, which I think he is attempting. That's what we were talking about during the week. Oh, nice. good speed there. Yeah. Oh, get some distance on that jump as well. Also the right side. Oh, that's a, that's, <laughs> that's a terrible sound. No, I don't like you anymore. I'm not showing anymore. You're dead. That sound. How does how does one get that sound? I don't even know. I don't tell them. We're not. We're going to reveal it. Otherwise, dash shop. <laughs> we're going to be yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Twenty six point one from T S Elliot. Big jump in time here. At this point, we're in top three as well. I think. Yeah, already. To the point, plasma climb there. Single PGB. Oh, oh, he saves the rocket. That. Yeah, nice. Uses it here. Uh, Enter the plasma. Lovely stuff. Tons of speed. Fifteen hundreds. Deep landing there. Yeah, big time. That was a great run. Nice. Do you know what? If I'd seen, if I'd known about this sort of route, I probably would have played the map more. To be honest, because that would be quite cool. <laughs> You fun. say that a lot, though. You say that a lot. I just don't try hard enough. <laughs> yeah. Alright, in second place, we got Nathan once again, 24.3. Oh, good one. There's the plasma boost. Oh, it does the... Uses strafe only on that PGB. And again. And again. Oh, wow. This is looking clean as. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to take a look at that in a minute. This little strategic bonk. Yeah, big time. Great Ooh, run sweet. there from Nathan. Love to see it. So we'll take a little slow mo on that for anyone who missed it. Also, yeah, check out these single single key PGBs. It's not any harder or different. Well, it's different in terms of the turning circle it'll give you. But other than that, what do you mean like... by oh? As it oh right, as in so you can uh, see AD. here. Bang, hits that uh, ramp, which is going to push him down faster, transferring that momentum, saving him a good bit of time. Yeah, so just using left and right strafe on the PGBs as opposed to yeah, forwards interesting. and le uh, left or right. Yeah, Again, it's it's much harder to, to control, basically. Yeah, I think so. Like, it will give you a much tighter turn, I think. I don't really know if it has much of an effect, but yeah. Just something to note simply because it's different from what you usually see. All right, moving into the top time, it's Frosty from your country with 23.1. Let's go. Oh, he's here. Yeah. He's here. He's in the UK. Two PGB, three PGB, just a three. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's a rocket that way. Yep. PGB Whoa. and a rocket, which is nice. Speed. Doesn't need the ramp. Look at Sorry, Nathan, speed. you got you, you got schooled on this one. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Although big, like I really love Nathan's use of that ramp to push himself down. That was lovely. Yeah, for real. But this Stop was. Like... Uh... Yeah. Was it, was, it just, was it just one single plasma cell as well? <laughs> it was. Yeah, he, he steps up onto the ramp like he doesn't even Beautiful. like. 
go over it, he steps up onto the um, the ledge. So, like, saving well, time... Know, go on. I, I take back what I said about this map, because if we've seen one thing, it's been a lot of... There's been a lot of variety. Yeah, so, for real. For such a small, seemingly yeah. simple map. Yeah. So, yeah, just to go into a wee bit of detail here as to why Frosty's route here is a bit better than Nathan's, even though Nathan's was definitely... Like much flashier and just looks cool. Like he just does the double jump, one single plasma, and then jumps straight into the into the hole. Obviously, Nathan has a lot of upwards momentum, goes really high, and is just wasting time in the air. Um, yeah, that's and Frosty got a, because of his starting position in that drop. He got a lot of horizontal momentum, over five hundred UPS as he hit that ramp. So yeah. it was, and he had a rocket to. To fire as well, so. Yeah, the plasma end of the rocket, I think, is, is also really good. So one more time here, just gets a plain double jump on here, and then one plasma ball. Super smooth. That's what Frosty's all about. Love to see it. Good stuff. Right, some demos of the week, and I think we'll go for this one first before the challenge map, because that is kind of the... the Pierce the resistance, right? Exactly. You've got to download the map. Oh, look at this. I'm totally prepared for this. Uh... Your Discord just died on me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll fix that. My mistake. Yeah, downloading the map causes that to happen. Oh, interesting. I'm supposed <laughs> to download the maps before we go live, you see. I forgot uh, that I had this one, though. Ill-prepared. Anyway. I know. 26.9 on a cool speed slick map. It is TXR. RIP the bit rate. <laughs> oh, I've, I've been playing this map, uh, the non slick version of this map this week, actually. Yeah, it's a good uh, rocket map as well. I think it's strafe, rocket, and slick uh, versions are all available. Yeah, yeah, I've just been playing the strafe, because I'm a strafe head. Strafe heads. Uh, shooting makes you go faster. <laughs> as well, by the way. It, like, it, nice, it, it breaks the air in front of you. So there's not as much resistance. We're going all the way. Alright, no, that's enough. The well played from I thought, he was going back to the, I thought he was going back to the start. Just, <laughs> yeah, just AFK sliding back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah, shout out to TXR. I don't think we've ever had a TXR demo in the demo of the week section. So shout out to, shout out to him. Uh, right, the finale. This is what everyone wants to see. The HGB combo challenge and CPM by Icarus in four and a half minutes. Let's go. Starting off with Phoenix. We might actually do them in order. So I'll do a little bit of slow-mo in this since we didn't in the first one. So having shoots this grenade up, falls all the way down, gets a vertical OB here. I don't know why it's in water. There might be something to that. Gets the grenade explosion, then the rocket. Off the wall, quad rockets, and this so it doesn't fall back down and do the quad rockets like and see and VQ3 rather. Huh. Uh, not shooting the grenade early here. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it just goes to show if these are the top demos and they've still got mistakes in them, just how hard this map actually is. Well, when I saw his time, I was like, yeah, I don't think that's a clean run time. But um, yeah, it just yeah, shows it should be, improvement. It should be much faster than VQ3. You would think. Was my interpretation anyway when I saw the times. No, no plasma needed there. No plasma needed. Oh, oh maybe, maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> but it was super fun to watch people play this map when it first got released because you know there was tons of people on the server checking it out. Everyone watching, yeah. you know, the big players figure it out and then copying them afterwards, as you I, do. I, I, I think this is a modern classic, to be honest. It's oh, for real? Yeah. It's serious, man. Nice little PGB at the top there. We're giving a wee bit of extra speed. Love these stairs. Don't know why, it's just kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> So Kyo room, or Kyoi, or however you want to say it. So horizontal will be here. And 
these rockets are all very spaced out. What is that little bit in the HUD you've got, the red bit under oh, the... Oh, that's uh, the timer. I didn't disable it after watching the Zaz demo. How, how does that work then? I've never seen that before. Uh, so it shows things like, well, obviously in here you can see the two yellow lines going across when he yeah. shoots, that's how long it will take the rocket to hit the target, basically. Oh. Um, it also shows the timing for uh, grenades to explode and um, ground boosts. Oh, no way. Yeah, M just MDD underscore timer one. In the, uh, that's what I need, more HUD, more HUD action. Oh, that was different from the previous one. That was, uh, I think... It was a Z Wob, uh, basically a diagonal OB for, for those who are not nerds and know what a Z Wob is. I am, I am not. Another OB. I've heard the term, but. It stands for Zero Ups Weird Overbounce. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's called that. It's just how can we make this game as inaccessible as possible? <laughs> well, That's I mean, it wasn't not by design, by any means. Shout out to the crazy album. Oh, nice I rocket to push himself down there. Okay, no, no pre. What was that just... first rocket? It didn't even look like it hit the red or the orange. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Is that red or orange? I don't know. It's, it's, it's orange. Red. It's a okay, it's a reddish red. orange. It's a deep orange. Okay, okay. So a rust. Let's go with yeah, the rust. Yeah, yeah. We'll call it a rust. So here we got another sort of. Will be that Delta missed in his run. This falls down uh, horizontal will be into water again. I don't know the significance of the water if it plays any part. I think it's maybe a little bit of a meme that I'm not privy to. <laughs> It'd be interesting to know, yeah. Okay, onto the final room. Yep, the Zas room. Look at the single rocket, which is nice. Barely makes it to be honest. Yeah, he's really very flat nice through there. Yeah, a lot of horizontal speed through there. It's the final final section. Yep. Compolymus's uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's just Compolymus Appreciation Room. That's all that is. There you have it. Um, the Icarus. Um, it would be nice if Halvor is listening to have those maps individually, like those rooms all in individual maps. That might be a bit much work. I don't know, but uh, it would be cool. Yeah, it would be. It would be fun. Uh, but yeah, but I, I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing them and trying to grind them and trying to finish them. But they are, they are tricky. Did real. you? Did you play? You you finished most of them. Well, no, don't, don't be silly. <laughs> finished some you of them, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, I finished about three or four, but I reckon you probably would have done at least seven or eight. Um, I pro if I tried harder, if I didn't, I haven't played it all that much. I've I've watched it more than I've actually played it. Yeah, Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's fun to watch. It's be yeah, it's particularly fun to watch because they're kind of singular tricks in a lot of cases, and they're just fun to watch people fail and then and then get them eventually. And you're like, yes, nice one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so just because we didn't show it previously, here is the uh, the leaderboard. Sorry, you can't see this. First, so just <laughs> this is the leaderboard for the extra uh, work up extra. These are the rest of the demos that we didn't want to show because they're too long, and it's easier if it's just part of the demos of the week. So shout outs to everyone who played and completed this map, even if it yeah, did man. take you forty nine minutes and nineteen seconds. Because that's still that's still pretty good because yeah. I, I played one of them for like forty nine minutes on its own, just one of the yeah, rooms. One room, so, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to to the to those gamers who tried very hard on this map. Yeah. It is an excellent map. Um, and that's that's it. That's all we have. That's us for the week. Um, What's happening next week, Al? Nothing actually. Nothing's happening next week. We're both away. We're both on holiday. Indeed. So, um. Next week, um, the week after, uh, I'll be back and I'll be streaming the ones that we missed so that we stay caught up and we don't fall behind like we have done in the past. I have uh, I have submitted for this week's War Cup, so you will have... You, 
you will have my presence even if uh, even if I'm not on the mic. You're bringing back presents? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Everyone gets a present. Uh, yeah, so, so we won't be live at this time next week, uh, but the following week there will be a few more reviews during the week so that we can stay caught up and stay current with the yeah. uh, with the demo reviews. And we We're going to try not to miss a hundred uh, demo reviews yeah in a yeah way. it'd be good if we did if we tried not to do that yeah but yeah i've been crazy al you've been chris yeah i had to think about that one for a minute there yeah. um and it's yeah, hot and... my brain is boiling it's pretty hot down there <laughs> but yeah thanks cool. for watching everyone and we'll see you in two weeks i guess see almost. you in two weeks have a good one bye-bye all right